Thank you for your interest in these incredible machines. They have supported us in war and peace. Let us remember those heroic crews too. The Antonov AN-70 is a four-engine medium-range transport aircraft and the first aircraft to take flight powered only by prop fan engines. It was developed in the late 1980s by the Antonov Design Bureau to replace the obsolete AN-12 military transport aircraft. The maiden flight of the first prototype took place in December 1994 in Kiev, now independent Ukraine. Within months the prototype had suffered a mid-air collision. A second airframe was produced to allow the flight test program to proceed. Both prototypes were produced by the Kiev Aircraft Production Plant. The AN-70 is a monoplane with a high-mounted wing design that features four distinctive prop fan engines. Designed by the Progress Design Bureau, each of the D-27 engines, which is used to drive the SV-27 contra-rotating scimitar propellers designed by Arosla, eight on the front propeller and six on the aft propeller. The prop fan engines deliver slipstream to the supercritical wings that feature double-slotted trailing edges to provide high lift coefficients at low speeds. The modernization of the aircraft during 2010-12 saw upgrades to the engines, including the incorporation of FADEC and the further separation of the two propellers. The aircraft's cruise speed is 750 km per hour at an operational altitude of 8,600 to 9,600 meters. According to DAS's evaluation, the prop fan engines were 10% more efficient than conventional turboprops. Similar to many aircraft designs of the Soviet Union, the AN-70 was designed as an airlifter that could operate from unprepared fields. In short takeoff and landing configuration, the aircraft could lift off from a 600 meters dirt strip with 25 tons of cargo and fly for 3,000 kilometers. Alternatively, it could fly the same distance with 35 tons of cargo if it took off from a 1,800 meters paved runway. For a payload-heavy mission, the AN-70 can haul 47 tons of cargo for a range of 1,500 kilometers, but if range was essential, the aircraft can carry a load of 17 tons over 8,000 kilometers. In exceptional circumstances, the AN-70 subjected to lower G takeoffs, can airlift a 47-ton T-80U main battle tank and fly it for 3,000 kilometers. In comparison, the turbofan-powered IL-76 has a lower cross-sectional cargo area, but exceeds the AN-70 in payload capability and ramp length. The AN-70's cargo hold is serviced by four electrical hoists that facilitate autonomous cargo loading. A central floor can be rapidly installed for the accommodation of 300 soldiers or 200 injured personnel over two decks. Similar to the AN-124, the AN-70 design makes extensive use of titanium and composites to keep weight to a minimum and increase damage resistance. Approximately 25% of the airframe is made of carbon fiber composites, which are primarily used on control surfaces and the tail assembly, while aluminium and steel alloys are used for the rest of the structure. The AN-70 has a designed life of 45,000 hours over 15,000 flights. The prototypes had a fly-by-wire flight control system that comprised three digital channels and six analog channels. It was expected that production aircraft would have a four-channel digital fly-by-wire system. Aircraft and system information are mainly relayed to the pilot and co-pilot via six large multifunction CRT displays with secondary electromechanical instruments and head-up displays. A flight engineer position is also present on the prototypes. Thanks, you have reached the end of the journey. Take care, see you pretty soon. Safe flight.